we're gonna tell you how to be creative, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. This has been a long time coming. I'm here with Roberto Blake. I'm, I know I didn't even have to make the introduction, but we're gonna be talking about creativity today. Roberto, how you doing, man? I'm doing awesome, Nick. You know the answer to that question. Yeah, I know. That's, yeah, I shouldn't even have asked that question. Right? Of course I'm doing awesome. <laughs> I'm hanging out with you, buddy. Right, yeah, this has been a blast. So we're, so we're hanging out at VidSummit right now, and it's, it's, we're having a great time. So, Roberto, on creativity, what tips do you have for somebody that says, you know, hey, I'm starting a YouTube channel, I don't really know what it is that I'm gonna talk about, or hey, I'm making videos and I don't really know what it is that I should be doing. All the figuring out stuff, the creativity part of being a YouTuber, being a content creator, what kind of tips do you have for that? What I did was, uh, I did what was fun and interesting and exciting to me, the things that I thought might be, you know, the things that I made my family and friends, their ears bleed to death, it was like so boring to them, because again, I dig Photoshop, you know, that. Yeah. Um, I dig video editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. When I was a kid, I was making anime music videos. I wanted to edit. I edited for six years before YouTube ever existed, right? That was fun for me. I liked storytelling. I thought that I was going to be a filmmaker and um, an animator, and I thought that that was the path for me to express my creativity, but I realized it's not I like to tell stories, and I like to make things, and I like to share them, and so for me, I knew that about myself and YouTube let me do that. I didn't intend to be a YouTuber, Nick. I didn't intend to be anything but somebody that was giving some advice and educating people. I think that if like the education system, which we talked about, uh, just is, wasn't the place that wouldn't fit me and like I'm too much of a misfit for them and I'm too maverick for them, um, I think that probably would have been a teacher. I, I mean, people have told me that they wish that they had a college professor or a teacher like me. I've done like stuff where I've stepped in as an art teacher as a substitute sometimes. Oh, nice. And um, like the kids are like, wow, we just don't want you to go. And I'm like, guys, it won't work. Yeah, not like, gonna happen. Not yeah. gonna happen. Like, so the rewarding thing for me is seeing people do their own thing, create their own thing, and me also creating mine. I was, even as a kid, I just wanted to, I figured something out, I'd share it with my friends, I'd teach them how to do it. I've always been that. So knowing who I was, was what I think worked for me on YouTube, and I think as I got comfortable on camera, I was able to express more of who I was confidently. And I think I ended up actually from doing that on YouTube and on camera, interacting with you guys, I think I got better at it in real life. And I think that's what made me evolve even as a public speaker. If you watch my old, my first speaking engagement and you watch who I am today, it's night and day, Nick. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. So my answer to it, I mean, long story short is, Know what you like, know what you love, know what, like, if you could do anything for the rest of your life, this is how I figured out who I am. I played this game myself, it's like, okay, Roberto, like some mythical creature, some genie, some djinn, like, comes and says, okay, Roberto, you gotta do the same thing for a thousand years, I'm gonna lock you into that world, what is it? Find a way to make it not torture for yourself, because, you know, I'm a malevolent deity type of thing, right? So, I played that little what-if game with myself, and it was like, what do I wanna do? I wanna create awesome things, share them out in the world, ooh, ooh, and I want to teach other people how to do that. I could do that every day. All right, yeah, I could live with that. So I decided to actually do that every day, bro. And so um, that's what happened. I ultimately figured out like that I like making things. I like learning about technology and software and how to create and how to do video and how to do camera stuff. And so I would just talk about the things that were getting me excited about that or things where I think, you know, I wish that someone had taught me how to solve this problem back when I was a graphic designer so my boss wouldn't have yelled at me and right. blah, blah, blah. So I made a video like that. I was like, you know, yeah, there's a bunch of people doing that. Terry White, Howard Pinsky, uh, Nathaniel Dodson, all these tutorial people that I look up to, but they're not doing it the way that I would have done it or they're not doing it the way that would have connected with me personally or like, how can I bring out my personality and like my humor in educating people because I want to keep it fun and informative and light and I want to make it less intimidating. I don't want to sound like an expert. I want to sound like somebody who's done it and somebody who wants to help you do the same thing I am. And that's all I did, Nick, is I, I just figured out what it is I want. And if I was going to be an entertainer instead of an educator, then I would have just talked about Star Wars and Game of Thrones and anime, and I would have done it from my perspective, and I would have just told you what I like about the characters, or what they meant to me, or what I learned, or, or how it influenced me. I would have figured some angle out of what my unique experience of a thing is, and I would have done that. And if I wanted to be an inspirational figure, because again, I'm hitting help, hub, and hero here in this topic, I talked about how I would educate people, how I do educate people, I talked about how I would entertain them, how would I inspire them. I talk about my anxiety, 
and my depression and how I, I coped with suicide and what got me through it, what made me hold on, what let me find something that I could love about myself um, from that perspective of being bullied and feeling those things and I'm tearing up now. And so like, I, like, so if I wanted to entertain, I told you how to do it, if I wanted to educate, that's how I did it. And if I wanted to inspire people and when I do inspire people, this is why and how, I do it so I think through that through that through that thought flow yeah you know finding that creativity is it, it seems like that that journey has been more about finding finding out who you are it right? is it, it's about finding out who you are getting comfortable with who you are finding out you know defining all of these different aspects of your of your of your life self-awareness so, self one word awareness so, two words yeah two words. or is it a conjoined word I yeah. always think, <laughs> like right but like it's one thing self-awareness yeah. I think is the secret of success. I think it's the secret of creativity. I think it's about knowing who you are, but I also think it's about exploring and getting excited about other things in the world and creativity. I think it's about curiosity. Curiosity is ultimately what led me to click on your channel. It's like, oh wow, who's this nicknaming guy and everything like that. Oh wow, he delivers really great information about YouTube, respect. All right, cool. Hadn't seen him in this space before. It was just Daryl and Tim and David and Gideon and uh, you know Jeremy and like Amy and Sonny and oh, it, like, you know, the people I actually knew, the, yeah. the, the dozen or so people I actually knew. So then when I saw you come on the scene and when I saw Brian come on the scene, I was excited because, oh, that's new. I got a new flavor now. Like, what's this about? I'm curious, let's try it. Oh, wow, it's fantastic. So, you know. I appreciate that. Yeah. With all of that, like, um, let's say somebody, let's say somebody is, um, is they're, they're having trouble with that, with the self-awareness side of things, right? Like, like if somebody wants to um, start walking that journey of, of, of discovering, you know, this is, this is, this is who I am. Right, so that they can make all of those connections, because that's that's where it starts, and then from there, you know, you you make all of the connections. So from that, what do you recommend somebody starts with to actually start defining to themselves who they are? So if you want to get more self awareness, you want to know who you are, you want to figure out what you might want to do. Look at what you're already doing on a regular basis. Look at your habits. Audit yourself. Think about what is it that I spend the most time on. Am I spending time reading? Am I an avid reader? Am I spending time playing video games? Am I always talking about this business that I'm gonna start? Like, what is, am I always talking about this TV show? Think about what it is that you do all the time already. Think about what excites you. And again, if you're not, if you don't know that you're super passionate about something, then look at at least what you're spending time on, if nothing else. And then if all else fails, find like three to five people you trust and ask them who they think you are, who you are to them. Like who I am to you might be different than who I am to Nick. It's definitely different than who I am to like my best friends Tiffany and Malcolm. It's different than who I am to my friend Jason. Uh, like and, and, and your parents. And, and to my yeah, parents yeah, and, yeah. To, and to the audience. There's their in, own individual relationship to them. I met a young man uh, today that he told me that six months ago he didn't have a business and today he has a six figure business and that I was part of that reason. That's who I am to him. Nice. You know, and, that's, and that was very flattering. That really got to me. Because what if I didn't do it, Nick? Like, what if I didn't show up? Like, what if I didn't make that video that reached him? Like, that's what gets me going. That's what, like, that's the thing that I'm, wor if I was gonna say, if I'm worried about anything, it's, um, I'm as much worried about what I do as what I don't do. Right. Well, Roberto, thank you so much for coming on the channel, man. I really yeah. appreciate it. I really appreciate your, uh, your thought flow. And, uh, you know, like, like I told Roberto earlier today, and I, I want to get this on my channel as well, um, you know, I've been watching Roberto for a really long time. Um, you know, some, you know, like what he's doing has also influenced what you guys see, um, you know, uh, a few times a week here on my channel. The service that he provides is rippling through me into you as well. Dude. So, Roberto, thank you for the, for the service that you provide, not just to the YouTube community, but to the earth. Oh wow! All right, so that's super so, flattering. No yeah. pressure. Like, uh, right, right. So, so I appreciate it, and thank dude, you so much thank, for coming on. Thank you so much for having me, Nick. You know I dig you. You know I think you're so awesome, dude. I mean, there's just so much that your energy, like, it's so different. And I really am glad that you have a voice in this space. Thanks, I appreciate it. And as most of you probably are already familiar with Roberto's channel, if you are not familiar with Roberto and you want more information like this, because Roberto really goes deep on his channel, in addition to, to the thought flow that he has, which is incredible, he also shares you know, how to grow your YouTube channel, how to do different aspects of creativity, and how to create something awesome. So I'm gonna put a link down to Roberto down in the description below up here in the card. And in addition to that, 
Um, Roberto, you also have the Awesome Creator Academy. That's right. Awesome. Can you tell us what that's about? Absolutely. Awesome Creator Academy is something I started because I wanted to do more mentorship and I wanted to figure out a way to help the most amount of people that I could um, with keeping it a, a nice tight knit circle of people that are hustling just as hard as you. They're trying to build an online business, grow their personal brand, and it's a way that people can get feedback, help each other out, look at their marketing materials. But I want people who are serious and they're committed. So I made this membership site that people can subscribe to. Uh, you pay every month but the real value of it Nick is that we get together as a group we do these mastermind calls and we're able to bounce each other's um, ideas off each other work through each other's problems we're also able to share in each other's success and journey and I've learned so much from having this membership group about what I can do to better serve people sure. and also we've been able to just like really work together to grow our success as a team so if you guys want to join Awesome Creator Academy uh, we're going to uh, leave a link down below it's awesomecreatoracademy.com but Nick what I'm gonna do is aside from giving you an affiliate link I'm going to give your audience uh, a discount code so we'll link that up in the description down below Awesome, awesome, thank you, thank you. And, and, and one thing that I also wanna to mention too um, in, in regards to that is one of the things that a lot of creators deal with is um, being alone. Yes. Right, being alone, not having a, a support group, not having people around you that understand what it is that you're doing. That's why I started it, is because when I got started doing all this, whether it was um, learning video editing and graphic design, um, I had basic introductory into that and then I was on my own. I didn't have a mentor and I didn't have a community. And the internet was a very different place back then, pre-YouTube, pre-social media. Sure. I didn't have that. I didn't have people to bounce ideas off of. My friends were not into this. I was alone, I was an outsider, an outcast, a misfit, and all I would have wanted was just have a group of like-minded people like me to encourage me, but also to help inspire me and also to keep me focused on trap and also to tell me when I'm doing something that isn't working and why. And I wanted that so badly for so long and ultimately not only like my YouTube channel and every other venture I did, I just made the thing that would have helped me the most. Nice, nice. All right, Roberto, thank you so much for coming on, man. I really appreciate it. Dude, love what you're doing. Thanks. And if you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.